16 very old human creations that still surprise us today. It's amazing how humanity evolved in the past centuries, decades, and even years. Science is developing faster than ever. New inventions are introduced regularly, and we're thinking about what should be our next step to further improve our technologies. But sometimes it's so interesting to dig a little bit in the past and discover what life was 100 years ago, 1,000 years ago, or even before Common Era. Sure, the tools might have been different and not so sophisticated, yet some of the artifacts that survive to this day can easily leave us with our mouths open. Here are some of the artifacts that are truly outstanding that spark a lot of questions and also marvel the contemporary human. Number 1. The details of this incredible armor made in 1555. The armor, called Hercules armor, was made in the middle of the 16th century for Archduke, later the Holy Emperor, Maximilian II. As it can be very well seen in the picture, the armor is covered with an ornamentation and mythological scenes. The armor was made in France and it demonstrates the refined and sophisticated skills of armorers of that time. The intricate details tell us that this armor wasn't made to be worn in war. Its real purpose was to denote Maximilian's exalted rank in court or in similar settings. Never mind the remarkable art on the steel, the armor could also fulfill its protective function. Number 2. An ancient Egyptian ring with a red carnelian cat dating back to around 1070 to 712 BCE. It's widely known that in ancient Egypt, cats were an important figure in people's religious life, as some of their deities were depicted having cat-like heads. So it's not surprising that they would be represented in jewelry, too. This ring is made of gold, and the cat figure is carved out of a semi-precious stone, carnelian. It's estimated to be at least 2,700 years old. On the bottom of the cat, in the inner part of the ring, there is a carved wadjet eye, or the Eye of Horus, used as a protective amulet. Number 3. A 3,400-year-old artist's palette found in Egypt Very often we learn about history through art, but this time we learn the history of making art. This is a painter's palette made from a single piece of ivory. This particular palette is really fascinating because it still contains the blue, green, brown, yellow, red, and black pigments in its wells, even though it was carved around 1390 to 1352 BCE. There's also an inscription of the pharaoh Amenhotep III in hieroglyphics, as well as the epithet, Beloved of Re. During the reign of the pharaoh Amenhotep III, Egypt was prospering in art and culture and this piece of art history reminds us of an ancient civilization preceding even the ancient Roman Empire. Number 4. A ring that possibly belonged to Caligula could be around 2,000 years old. The stunning sky-blue ring of Hololith means it's made of a single piece of stone. In this case, it's made from sapphire. If the precious stone is not enough to define the ring's value, it's also believed that it once belonged to the Roman Emperor Caligula, who ruled from 37 to 41 AD. The woman engraved at the top of the ring is assumed to be Cassonia, Caligula's fourth and last wife. The ring was on sale in 2019, and though the internet doesn't reveal who was the buyer or at what price it was sold, there are a few hints that it might have been close to $600,000. Isn't it wild to think that the same ring, which was possibly owned by one of the rulers of the classical antiquity period, is now sitting on someone else's finger? What stories it could tell if it could talk. Number 5. A 2,000-year-old temple is still standing today and is in really good condition. The Hathor Temple is one of the best-preserved temples in Egypt, and it's the main temple of the Dendera Temple Complex. It's wonderful how the colors are still this vibrant, as it's known the inside was once covered in soot, but it's been successfully restored. The good condition of the art is all the more surprising, knowing it was built more than 2,000 years ago. The main temple was completed by Queen Cleopatra VII around 54 to 20 BCE. Number 6. 2,400-year-old shoes found in the Altai Mountains it's fascinating to learn about the elaborate shoes worn by the Scythians and the theories behind their preservation and purpose. It's a great reminder that fashion and adornment have been important aspects of human culture for thousands of years, and that ancient societies had their own unique styles and customs. 
The discovery of these shoes also highlights the importance of archaeology in helping us to better understand our history and the way people lived in the past. Number 7. An astronomical clock in Prague, Czech Republic, is still operating since 1410. The astronomical clock in Prague is truly a remarkable piece of history and engineering. It's fascinating to see how a clock that's over 600 years old is still working today, and it's not just telling the time but also providing astronomical and zodiacal information. The mini spectacle every hour on the hour adds a unique element to the clock, making it not just a functional device but also a piece of art. The superstition that the skeleton on the side of the clock will nod its head if something happens to the clock and the city of Prague will suffer is an interesting belief that highlights the cultural significance of the clock to the people of Prague. It's heartening to know that people were willing to donate wood to repair the clock despite the shortage of the material in the country during the war. It shows how much the clock means to the people and how important it is to preserve the cultural heritage. Number 8. Built between 1300 and 1190 BCE, the Arcadico Bridge is still in use today. The Arcadico Bridge in Greece is more than 3,300 years old, and that makes it one of the oldest bridges still in existence. Originally, this bridge was built specifically for chariots, but these days it's used only by pedestrians. The bridge linked Tiryns to Epidarius, two ancient Greek cities that existed in the Bronze Age. The structure is 72 feet long, 18.4 feet wide, and 13 feet high. It was built using cyclopean masonry with limestone boulders, smaller stones, and little pieces of tile assembled tightly together without mortar, which is typical stonework found in Mycenaean architecture. Number 9. A Beware of Dog Sign in a 2,000-Year-Old Roman House The sign Beware of Dog is older than you think. Such writings were found in numerous ancient Roman buildings. Such signs could have been placed even if there weren't any dogs to scare off burglars or to warn guests about small dogs that could have been stepped on. The sign in the image was discovered in the House of the Tragic Poet in Pompeii. This house is dated to around the 2nd century BCE. The caption reads Cave Canum, which means beware of dog. This mosaic is placed on the floor at the main entrance. If you think about it, in comparison, the beware of dog signs today are quite underwhelming. Number 10. A wooden sculpture depicting death made in 1520. Death is often the subject of art, personified, given a material shape. It's curious that in English and German culture, death is seen as male, and in French and Italian culture, it's represented as a female. The 16th century sculptor Hans Leinberger interprets death as a skeleton. It's a representation of what becomes of person after they die. It has arrows on one hand and a bow in the other, standing in a twisted pose. The sculpture is made from a single piece of pear wood. The ability to carve the partially exposed ribs and bones, the tattered clothing, and to create an image of a rotating body shows the extraordinary skills of the artist. Number 11. A well-preserved shoe worn by a Roman 2,000 years ago. <laughs> 